The Honda RA 168E engine is a legendary power plant that played a crucial role in Honda's domination of Grand Prix racing during the turbocharged era. While Honda's success in Formula 1 has become almost expected, it was their crushing superiority in the final year of the turbocharged era that truly made a lasting impact. Honda's journey in Grand Prix racing started in 1964 with the R270-1, their first Formula 1 car. However, the early years were marked by limited success, as the R8272 engine in the R270-1 won only one race in two seasons. The engine had adequate power but suffered from excess weight compared to its competitors, offsetting any horsepower advantage. Honda's subsequent efforts, such as the 3.0-litre R273 V12 and the air-cooled V8 RA302, faced similar challenges and yielded little success. After a gap of over 15 years focusing on road cars, Honda returned to Grand Prix racing in 1985 with a 1.5-litre turbocharged V6 engine. Although the return had a slow start, Honda quickly made progress and achieved remarkable success. By 1988, the Honda engine had established itself as the best in the field, leading Honda powered cars to win every race that season except for one. The RA168E engine, which powered the winning Honda cars, had a design that traced its roots back to the RA263, a naturally aspirated 2-litre V6 engine used in Formula 2 cars in the early 1980s. One of the notable features was its wide bore and short stroke, inspired by the four-cylinder engines BMW used. By applying the same principles to a six-cylinder configuration, Honda aimed to achieve one and a half times the power. Now, in 1988, new fuel consumption restrictions got implemented in Grand Prix racing, and to meet the fuel consumption restrictions, Honda underwent a radical redesign of the turbocharged Grand Prix engine. The new design focused on improving fuel efficiency, and the engine featured a more compact combustion chamber and a substantially increased compression ratio from 7.2 to 1 up to 9.4 to 1. The bore was also reduced to 79mm and the stroke was increased to 50.8mm, resulting in an over-square engine configuration. Now, since Honda was so successful, other teams felt that Honda had to use some crazy designs in order for the cars to be so fast. But despite rumors of exotic features, the RA168E engine's success was actually due to its simplicity. The engine block was made out of cast iron, chosen for its stiffness and ductile characteristics. Although heavier than aluminium alloy, thin wall casting methods reduced the block's weight. The cylinder heads, on the other hand, were made out of aluminium alloy, and other parts like the cam covers and crankcase sump were cast from magnesium alloy. Overall, the complete engine, including accessories, weighed around 146 kilograms, similar to the 3-litre Cosworth DAV. In terms of valve design, Honda took a conservative approach, using four valves per cylinder, closed by a pair of concentric springs. The engine employed finger followers instead of the more common inverted bucket-type tappets, allowing for higher engine revs. The combustion chamber design focused on compactness and fuel economy, with small valves arranged at a 32-degree included angle similar to the Cosworth DFV. Then since it was the turbo era of F1, obviously she had some turbos, and the induction system relied on two special racing turbochargers manufactured by IHI. These compressors employed ceramic turbine wheels to reduce inertia and run at higher temperatures than conventional metal turbines. Now when adding air, you need more fuel to burn said air, so the engine featured fuel injection developed in-house by Honda with two injectors per cylinder to ensure sufficient fuel delivery in all operating conditions. The fuel injection system employed by the RA168E engine was a high-pressure direct injection system where fuel was injected directly into the combustion chamber. This allowed for precise control over fuel delivery, resulting in improved fuel efficiency and power output. The engine also featured a dual-stage boost control system which regulated the turbo boost pressure based on throttle position and engine speed, which made the cars much more drivable and more fuel efficient. Thanks to all of this, the RA168E engine was super powerful during its peak. The engine produced around 650 to 700 horsepower, making it one of the most powerful engines on the grid. And at its most, at some qualifying sessions, the engine made up to 1,350 horsepower. This combination of high power output, excellent fuel efficiency and superior reliability made the RA168E engine a dominant force in Formula 1. 
But all of the power in the world means nothing if you blow a head gasket. You see, when racing, you need to ensure everything stays nice and cold. So cooling was a critical consideration in the design process, as hotspots could hinder combustion and fuel economy. The RA168E engine utilized two water pumps, each supplying coolant to its own side of the cylinder block. Water galleries were strategically located on the outside walls of the block to absorb less heat, while the cylinder heads featured water galleries on the inner walls to encourage uniform thermal conditions. Now I have to say a big part of this engine's success was because of Honda's meticulous approach to engineering and reliability. Honda's engineers paid great attention to detail and implemented rigorous testing procedures to ensure the engine's durability and performance under extreme conditions of Grand Prix racing. The RA168E engine powered Honda's McLaren MB4-4 cars during the 1988 Formula 1 season, which is widely regarded as one of the most dominant seasons in the sport's history. The combination of the RA168E engine and the McLaren MP4-4 chassis, driven by Ayrton Senna and Alan Prost, won 15 out of 16 races that season, securing both the Drivers' and Constructors' championships for McLaren Honda. However, the turbocharged era in Formula 1 came to an end after 1988 as the sport transitioned to naturally aspirated engines. Honda continued its involvement in Formula 1 with various engine configurations over the years, but the RA168E engine remains a standout achievement in the history of Honda's motorsport endeavors. This was an amazing engine that powered one of, if not the best F1 car driven by one of, if not the best drivers of all time. So it's a pretty special car that had really good drivers. It, it's just wow. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I have another one for you, where we delved into the turbocharged era of F1, specifically. So if you want to go and watch that after this, you are welcome. I'll, I'll try and remember to put a pop-up here. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.